Alrighty, welcome everybody back to No Man's Sky. Dostro Gaming here with another Outlaws update tutorial here, info video, tips and tricks, whatever you want to call it. Um, today we're going to look at how to get a cape and hood. Okay. Um, so first of all, the cape. If you want the cape, super easy. This is obviously not, uh, or this is just the current one. This is not. Um, they're going to add more. You get one for the expedition. Um, that's currently going on once those awards become available but you're going to go to the appearance modifier and if you go to backpack okay there is a section that says customized cape um, and you simply just put flowing cape okay the outlaw cape i believe is um, coming for the expedition reward okay um, so you can change your color on it whatever you want to do it is completely customizable okay um, so that's how you get the cape all right now the hood is a different story okay and I'm gonna kind of take you through that um, throughout this video but it does require doing kind of a secret mission all right so the first thing you're gonna do is get into your ship you need to be in a non outlaw station or system so make sure that you are in just a random system and you are simply going to pulse in some direction until it gives you an anomaly message for emergency broadcast okay um, just keep pulsing back and forth back and forth until you finally get it Okay, so as you can see now it gives you an abandoned vessel that you can communicate with. Okay, that took quite a while for me to find there to get this broadcast. So it may take you all a while too. So what you're gonna do, go to your Starship communicator and it is going to talk to you. Okay, you're gonna accept the coordinates. And it'll tell you where you need to go. You should be going to your galaxy map. And it should tell you, if you look where it shows the pirates, um, school, that's where you can jump to. So we're going to go warp. Okay, once you warp in, you're going to give it a second to show you where the marker is. You're gonna find the skull marker and we're gonna pulse drive over there. Once you land, you're gonna get out and you're gonna pull out your analysis visor. This is going to show you which direction to go. Uh, mine was about 500 distance away, so I actually hop into my spaceship and fly up to this giant rock um, to get over there. But you're gonna, you know, it'll tell you which way to go, left, right, straight, um, and then you'll eventually it should be some sort of crashed ship that we'll ultimately find once you get there. Alright, now you get to the coordinates, there's a crash ship here, if you want to get it, you can, mine's just a class C, not great, but you'll come over here, look at the distress beacon, download the logs, recover cockpit recording, Take the rendezvous beacon. Okay, there's gonna be sentinels that are gonna 
pop up that you take care of. Load. Once you have the Sentinels taken out, you will open your menu and you're going to find the rendezvous beacon. Okay. Um, you'll hold X or whatever I'm on Xbox sets or controller S it is uh, to activate it and it will tell you your next step. Once you've activated it, go ahead and get your back in your starship, and you're going to fly off the planet into space once again, out into orbit. Once you get out there, there's going to be another marker. Mine's on this other planet over here. This is for the Ronin Beacon. You'll fly over here, you'll land, and once again, you'll need to use your analysis beacon or not acid the analysis visor to figure out where you are supposed to go. Uh, mine ended up being a building with a landing pad, as you'll see in a second. So I got my ship and kind of flew that direction and ended up just finding the landing pad. It's pretty easy to do. Once you get out of your ship, you are going to go into the building and you'll find a panel um, terminal, I guess, that you will access, go through um, this panel and it will eventually give you um, a ticket. So you'll go through this, accept the invitation, and it'll give you a ticket to freedom which you will go outside and just like we did with the rendezvous beacon you're going to activate the ticket to freedom and it'll give you your next step on your journey to getting the shroud of freedom so you'll hold that uh that button for me once again it's x it'll pop up and it's going to tell you where to go next where it tells you to go, warp there. And once you get there, it will show you your next destination. Mine was a space station. Um, once you get into the space station, you're gonna have to go up to um, the space station conduit uh, a little later, but first you need to speak to a certain amount of people talking and asking them about the voice of freedom. Um, I went through a bunch of different people and eventually you find them. I don't know if it's an exact person you have to find or if it's just, okay, you talk to a certain amount of people, but just talk to everybody around there, all the various merchants and things, and then eventually they're slowly going to start giving you more and more information and eventually you're going to get the Shroud of Freedom. Um, but to complete the quest, you're still not done. This was kind of confusing to me, um, when I originally was in here. I was confused, but you go up to the conduit, um, you're going to accept it, and then um, it is going to kind of ask you to go on a whole tour of the new pirate stations, which I guess makes sense. Um, so I was kind of confused by this at first. I thought I was trying to find the, the cloak, and then I realized. So go talk to everybody. All you got to do is just talk to them. I've already done this, so my stuff was all pretty quick. Um, and then it's going to give you a forged passport um, after you try to get clearance to leave because you need to kind of wash away the uh the sins if you will that you um have already gotten so you're gonna take this passport to just the next non-pirate controlled system um i just fly out of here and 
I just go to the very next system. If you don't have any hyperdrive fuel, that may be a little difficult. But um, just go to the next random system you can find or that you can get to, and that's where you're going to end up giving the Forge Passport to. All right, once you're in this new system, as I said, you are going to go to the nearest space station in that system. Should obviously only be one. You're going to land, and in the back, there is the, um, I don't really know what you call it, station security now, or you know, I call it like the station terminal. Um, it's the big eye-looking thing in the back. But you're going to land, and you're going to go give this forge passport to them. This is kind of how you do it if you're smuggling goods. Um, it makes it to where... They won't harass you with sentinels while you're flying around. So you have two options when you go up here. You have um, to denounce the Voice of Freedom and then give them the Forge Passport. And if you want to continue with getting the Shroud and everything, you need to give them um, the Forge Passport. Or I guess I assume you do. Um, you maybe don't have to. But at the end of it all, that's the complete of that quest. It's kind of like the main quest for this new update. And then if you go into the Character Customizer, you will see that your new Shroud of Freedom is unlocked. All right, and this is pretty much the only hood you can get for the most part until the Outlaw King becomes available from the expedition. So once again, I want to thank you all for joining me. Make sure to like and subscribe, and as always, I'll see you all next time.